everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, I asked you guys which video you wanted me to make first, and 55% of you voted for organizing the miscellaneous witchy stuff. So that's what we're going to do today. And then later this week, we will strain the tinctures. And that video I'll be making in my kitchen because I don't have a sink in my witchy room. So awesome as it is in here, I don't have a sink. Um, but in the interest of time, I've already started sorting through some of this stuff. Um, this box right here is miscellaneous craft stuff. So it's got, I've thrown in like the, the plastic ornaments because I have glass ones that are better suited for spell work. Um, it's this weird test tube -y thing. That's recycling. Um, embroidery hoops and styrofoam balls and ribbon. So that's in there. This box, any fabric that I'm not keeping will go to this box for my sister's kid because they're into cosplay and making things. So if I can't use it, maybe they can. Um, and then this box is recycling. So anything that's just not going to be useful goes in here. Um, I've already done some stuff out. So I have like all this yarn. Yarn. I don't knit. I don't crochet. I don't do anything with yarn. And yet I have all of this yarn. Um, toilet paper tube. Actually, I have plan for that. I can go here. <laughs> and then boxes. All kinds of little jewelry. Oh, this one's got something on it. No. All kinds of... I get jewelry and then keep the box. 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 Box with a box in it. I'll probably use that. Um, Cute little gold cute little gold box cute little silver box so I had a box and a box and a box <laughs> so much stuff um ooh pretty pretty purple snowflake holographic gift bag I like that that can go to the crafts blue gift bag Crafts, gold ribbon, crafts. Oh, I forgot I bought that. It's like a little terrarium planter. Yes, it is. Little terrarium planter. Oh, crafts. Yeah, see, more plastic ornaments. I, I think the first step is admitting you have a problem. Um, my problem is I don't have enough storage for my miscellaneous crafts. <laughs> no, really. I, this is why I've stopped buying stuff for the most part. I have some, uh, why do I have, f from, just from what I can see, I have four of these green plastic ornaments. I don't know why. Oh, oh no. A bag full of bags, not just for shopping bags, apparently. Um, <laughs> but these are all little mesh bags. They're going to go in the witchy cabinet, I think. I think I'll be more inclined to use them if I can find them easier. Um, I think oh, little wooden spoons, witchy cabinet. I guess keeping all the string stuff and ribbony stuff and yarn stuff makes sense to keep that stuff together. Or no? I don't think so. Okay. Haven't even opened it. It's embroidery floss. I don't embroider. Ribbon. Ribbon. Embroidery floss. Now some of this, I, did, I didn't buy all of this. Some of this is given, well this I bought, this was from my wedding. Um, when my mom passed, 
I ended up with a lot of her crap, well, all of her crap, but all of her craft stuff, and I've slowly but surely been whittling through and getting rid of a lot of it, um, because a lot of it was 30 plus years old. I thought I didn't throw anything away. She never got rid of anything, um, borderline hoarder, um, it was ridiculous. It, I can make something with that, but then nothing gets made. Um, and that's where I inherited that gene from. So, ribbon. I can't be the only one. You guys have this too, right? Oh, look how pretty. Iridescent mesh bag. That goes with the mesh bags. This, this goes in the bag of bags. Ribbon. Ribbon. And I don't like to get rid of anything if it can be useful. So I end up keeping all of this stuff. Look at this. Not even opened. And I think this was from... This is from my wedding. So... This is for my grimoire. I'm going to leave this... I'm going to leave this up here for now. Um, more ribbon. I think we've done this before in another video. It's just, there's just so much of it that it doesn't stay neat and tidy. And I'll be in a hurry to clean things up. And then I just pull, pull one of these out, stuff the stuff in, and I move on. And then it gets disorganized again. Um, which means my method of organization does not work for me. Um, or I'm just lazy. Ribbon from my wedding. Some of the stuff I've had since before my son was born, and he's 20. This is crazy. Anybody want to come over and do some crafts? <laughs> um, more ribbon from my wedding. This, I think this is supposed to be... Yeah, it's... Elastic cording for making like bracelets and necklaces and stuff. That goes in the miscellaneous crafts. Little bag. Recycling. Miscellaneous crafts. More embroidery floss. And little pieces of ribbon. They can go in the crafts. Alrighty. We've got one more bin. And I think that one's going to be the easiest because it's all just, I'm pretty sure, it's all just fabric. But I see these things and I think, oh, not magic. You know, not magic. Or tying off charm bags. You know, or I like to, I used to make a lot of, I used to make a lot of like dream catcher type stuff. Um, lately, not so much. We got this one, we got this one. And now this is the one I think is all fabric. So we'll start with the felt. I felt all oh, this fabric. I bought this, I have no idea what I bought it for, but it was, I got it on Amazon. I'm trying to, I'm, let me straighten it out so you guys can, I'll hold it up and hopefully you can really see it. It is. Ah, I'm all tangled. <laughs> it is so cool. Um, at first I thought I was going to cover one of the walls with it as, as like a backdrop. Tried it, I didn't like it. And then I tried covering the door because the door is just plain wood right now. So I was just going to put this over the door and I didn't like it. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. Maybe that won't look good up against the purple. I was thinking maybe a curtain, but it won't look good up against the purple. So let's get this folded so that it can fit nicely in here. Um, but 
was an impulse buy, and I'm not mad at it because it is very cool. I just wish I knew what I was going to make with it or if I was going to do anything with it. Um, so there's that one. This is a purple curtain. I use, sometimes use this as like an altar cloth. I was using it. Oh, I wonder if I could. I have an idea. I might use this as a curtain on that window to filter some of that light. More felt. Um, some black velvet's the other half of this altar cloth. Can I bring this upstairs? I can use it on my upstairs altar. That's what I'll do with that. I'll go upstairs. Spider web mantle throw. Oh, I can put that over there. See, this is helping. And I have you guys for company. Um, oh, the same time I bought that super cool fabric, I also got this one. But I know what I'm doing with this fabric. This one. This one. It even has little hints of purple in it, so it's perfect. Um, I have my stepdaughter's old lamp. And I'm going to cover the lampshade. Right now it's a zebra print lampshade. And it's a silver lamp base. So I'm going to cover the lampshade in this. And then I'm going to trim the bottom with beaded fringe. And it'll be my witchy room lamp. But yeah, so I at least I know what I'm doing with this. I want to leave this where it'll be on top so it can find it. This bag. Um, is this the curtain? No, this is a short table runner, which is a Halloween one. It's got, oh, it's covered in wax. I should bring that upstairs and see if I can get that out. It's got the little mouse and skull on it. It's, oh, it's so cute. I'll go upstairs so I can get that wax out. Pink satin altar cloths. This was... The wrap from my friend, my best friend, when she got married, this went with our bridesmaid dresses. It is a perfect shade of hunter green. And it's the exact right size to be an altar cloth for this altar. So that's what I use it for now. Um, and it is, it's, I don't know, I don't know if this camera is going to do this justice. This green is just the richest, oh, love this green. Um, we'll put that with the altar cloths. A very small piece of lavender colored shimmery organza. I have no idea what I'm, you know what? I'm going to put this because Liv might be able to make something with it or use it to accent something. I've had it for years. I haven't used it. Is this more of that? Yeah, it is. I don't remember cutting that. And another piece of that fabric. Oh. <laughs> this is the purple that is on my current grimoire. It's that micro, micro suede. Um, I think I'll make an altar cloth out of it. I'll put that with that. This is a brown micro suede that I used to cover my Practical Magic Grimoire because I covered it first in um, brown faux leather and I hated it because I didn't like the way it felt. So then I recovered it in the brown suede material and I liked it better, but it still just doesn't work for me. Um, purple bandana. This weird feeling purple, you know, I'm not going to use this. It's purple velvet. It is very weird and crunchy. Maybe Liv can use it. Um, bandanas. I once worked at AC Moore. So these would go on sale really cheap and I would just buy a whole bunch. Um, bring out the cloth. Oh, and the rest of this is nice and tidy. White bandana, more felt, but the rest is kind of neat and tidy. It's only the top layer that gets all messed up. Just some white random fabric. 
But yeah, that's all felt down there. So that actually was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Because like I said, I'm pretty sure we did this one before in another video. I think it was my Bad Witch video. I, I, I cleaned out some of this stuff. But again, so much of it, I'm still not using it. So it's time to declutter some more. I want that stuff on top. So let's put the felt. Ultra cloth stuff. Put that really cool one on top. Those are going upstairs. This is going on top so that I can do that lamp. Um, let me know below in the comments if you want to see the lamp after I'm done fancying it up and, and revamping it, giving it, you know, a makeover. But that's about it. There's not... I'm almost a little disappointed. I thought there was more stuff to go through. But I guess that first time around, I really did get rid of a lot of things. Thank you for watching this completely off the rails, mindless video. Um, but I liked having you guys for company. And now I have an almost empty storage tub. So that's good. It's just, it's just got ribbon. It's got stuff to tie stuff. This is what that got. And that one's got, I could probably put the yarn with the ribbon. What do you guys think? Yarn with the ribbon? I think yarn with the ribbon. I'll put the yarn with the ribbon and now i have a bin full of stuff to tie stuff up with i have a bin full of little boxes and that's it and then i have a bin full of fabric and the bag of bags will go in the witchy cabinet along with those little wooden spoons i don't know how they ended up in here um this will get put with the craft stuff this might get hung up on that window. And that is that. Um, again, thank you for watching this very strange, rambly, crazy miscellaneous video. I hope to see you in the next one when we strain the tinctures in my kitchen. I'll show you my really cool practical magic inspired kitchen wall too. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I'd love to have you back. And I will see you again very soon. Bye! Cheers!